Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Holly Gold Lightly and you're at my channel. This is part two of the fragrances that I got for Christmas, the haul of fragrances that I got for Christmas. As you saw in the previous part, it did get a little bit too long too for my comfort. So I split it up into two parts. It's literally one video split in half. So there's no new information that's going to be provided. It's picking up exactly where it left off in the previous video. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Bye. Now on to eBay. I got one from eBay. I got two from eBay. Oh, ooh, hold on. Uh, hold it. Hold up. I left one and I almost forgot about it. So I picked up two fragrances off eBay. The first one I ordered the most recent, like this is the most recent one that has come in. I just got it today, which is December 27th when I'm filming this. Um, and it came opened, but unused. So this is from Mugler. This is Innocent Illusion from Mugler. So back in the day, the early 2000s, Mugler did a fragrance called Angel Innocent. And it comes in a tower shaped bottle like this. It's baby blue juice and has a baby blue star here. It's a very powdery kind of white musky type of scent that is not my favorite. Um, but they also then released Innocent Illusion as a flanker to Angel Innocent the next year or maybe a year, two years later. And this one at the time I was probably like 20 something. Uh, this was really my jam. So it was sweet, fruity, it has praline and musk in the base. And then it has like mandarin, black currant, um, bergamot. So it's like fresh, juicy, and then dries down to a really soft, sweet, powdery finish. So I picked this up because I had, when I had um, our fire and all of my fragrances from before 2009 were destroyed, this was lost as well. And so I finally picked one up to replace it to see like what I thought about it. It's definitely not something that I would gravitate to now, but it's still something that I would wear, you know, if I felt like wearing a fruity fragrance. It's not as sweet as, it's not as sweet as Angel, but it's not as powdery as Angel Innocent. So it's a nice in-between scent, but it's a little bit expensive, I think. And I wouldn't say that you need to run out and find it unless you're a Mugler fangirl like me and you just want to have these things in your collection. But regardless, I did find it for a really fair price and I'm quite happy. The seller sent it in this little bag, which actually, oh, there it's on this side. It says Terry Mugler on this tag. I don't know what the bag came from because it didn't come with this scent originally. But yeah, so I'll put the seller from this. I'll link it down below as well because that was a really good purchase really good transaction. Then the second one I got off of eBay from Galon. 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 And this one, I'm so happy about this. This was one I have been wanting for this year, a year, almost two years. It was released in 2020. That helps you guess. Um, it's the last fragrance that was released in the bee bottles that helps you guess. It's also a re-release of a previous fragrance. So I hope you guessed, but if not, it is the Le Parisien's L'Initial. So I'm not taking it out. I've already decanted out 30 mil, as you can see there, so that I can use it. This is really, really hard to get out of this box, and I'm afraid I'm going to break the stopper. So I'm just leaving it in the box, but it's so gorgeous. I'm so happy to have another bee bottle. I do have one for Mont Guerlain. No, I do have one that is Mont Precious Nectar, but it doesn't have the stopper because I lost it. Um, that was a long time ago when I didn't really care that much. So I just, I lost it. <laughs> um, so yeah, to have like the full bottle with the stopper, I'm really happy to have. So the initial is a re-release of Guerlain's Chalamar Parfum Initial. 
and it, well, it's just brain farted. I can tell you, if you have watched my channel for a couple of years, you have probably saw my video. I did review Parfum Initial and Parfum Initial Low. I can tell you right now, this smells identical to Parfum Initial. I don't believe there were any changes made to the formula. Um, I had previously sold my bottle of Parfum Initial because I had both Initial and Initial Low. And I say in the video, I prefer Initial Low, but I really had wanted this since I heard that it was going to be re-released in the B bottle. Um, so I got it at a good price. It was under the original retail for the, the bottle. So I was very happy with the price. Again, very happy with the service, very happy with the seller. I will link them down below as well, but I don't think they do perfumes. I think they are just a reseller of things, but I'll still link them. Those were the two things I picked up from eBay. So now we'll go, I think the last, yeah, we have Sephora things and then Christmas, some Christmas stuff. So Sephora had a bunch of sales. <clears throat> in December. They had that like gifting coupon code for 20% off. They had the fragrance coupon code for 20% off. They were crazy. They went crazy. So I did too. <laughs> um, so during the first sale where it was like the gift easy coupon code, I picked up the fragrance La Habana from 1969. And I love this fragrance. This is supposed to be a, a verbal, like the perfumer's idea of Havana, Cuba, based off of the verbal stories told to him by his grandfather, who was a seaman, no. based off of the verbal stories told to him by his grandfather, who was, who was a ship man, a sailor, that's the word. Who was a sailor. Um, I have a couple of fragrances that are like ha Havana inspired fragrances. They all smell different and I think that's so interesting that people who have or have not been to the actual place all imagine um, the same sort of idea and it inspires, it inspires them differently. I love this. This has a really heavy tobacco smoke scent. It doesn't smell like pipe tobacco. It's not like rich tobacco. It's a very dry, smoky tobacco, but it's a little bit sweet and it has a definite boozy sort of note. Not office appropriate, not not really even daytime appropriate unless you are going out somewhere and you just are like wanting to be very lavish. Um, because it smells quite decadent, quite rich, like you're in a humidor having some cognac and smoking your favorite cigars. But I'm really happy with this. I've wanted it for a long time, but I didn't know that they made 30 mils. I've only ever seen the 100 mil sizes, but the Sephora just started carrying 1969 and the 30 mils are really reasonably priced. So pick that up. Then, from Sephora, I also got the Kaoli Invite Only 23. Yeah, I just got the little baby because I haven't had the best track record with Kaoli fragrances, so I didn't want to go like crazy, crazy. But I like this a lot. It smells like a cherry amber fragrance boozy cherry amber fragrance it's like if you layered tom ford's lost cherry or a dupe of that on top of grand soir or um my perfumum roma amber aurea it's not mine but the, you know i have it it's not like those it doesn't smell like those it doesn't smell quite as nice as those but um, that's the vibe. It's very straightforward. I don't think this is something that is incredibly complicated. <laughs> I don't think this is something that's incredibly complex or 
you know, too difficult to discern. I also don't think that there's, if you know you don't like it on the first spray, it's not going to get better. It's, you, you need, you're either going to not like it or you are. I really liked it and it does not last the best. <coughs> it does not last good. It does not last great on the skin, but on clothes, it's pretty okay. Pretty decent. Um, I've mostly been spraying it like on my like jackets and stuff so that it kind of hangs out um, on my scarf. I, it's not really a scarf. It's a poncho. Um, I really like it for that because it just kind of gives off this cozy vibe, but it's not heavy, heavy. So really enjoyed that. So those are the, the ones that I got at Sephora. Yeah. So those are the things that I picked up um, at Sephora and oh shoot no they aren't I still have one more um I did get this one for Christmas as well um this one was a gift and this actually I had purchased 1969 La Habana and I, and I had seen this which is 1969 Lair Barbés and I was really interested in this um so I told like I said I was like hey I would like to have this as a gift and then no one bought it for me. So I, I bought it for myself and put it under the tree. <laughs> and that's the story. But anyway, so Le Barbès is supposed to be inspired by the scent of the Parisian city streets. And the fragrance notes are aldehyde, fresh lemon, bergamot, concrete, ylang ylang extract, tuberose, ambrox, orris, cumin, ink, leather, dry woods, and white musk. It sounds like it might be like an aquatic type of fragrance. It also sounds like it might be sort of heavy, but let me tell you, this is not heavy. There's nothing heavy about this. It says air in the name and that's what it is. It is so airy. It smells like a cologne at the first spray. When you first put it on, it smells quite masculine, very cologne-y, but, and I noticed that with um, the other 1969, La Habana, it smelled quite masculine when I first sprayed it. But as Lair Barbés dries down, you get that iris note you get that woods note, you get the leather. It's like, it feels quite grounded. It does have a slightly textured scent to it. Um, if you, like, if you imagine scents as textures, right? Some are silky, some are velvety, some are very creamy. This is, it feels a little rough, a little textured but the scent itself is so light and it's like impossible not to like it's you it's really unique i don't think i have ever, anything in my collection like this even if i have stuff with the same notes they're not put together like this um i don't really pick up a lot of florals but the aldehydes um the bergamot and the iris it just it's so it feels it feels like you're walking on a city street but with like with your head in the clouds like that feeling of like not being even paying attention it's 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 pay it's not paying attention to where you're going in perfume form that's that's how i could describe it to you i love it i love it i'm so glad i took a chance on it i'm so happy with that and then another fragrance that i got for christmas gift this was in my stocking this was not purchased by me for me and as a matter of fact this was gifted to me by my family and i thought it was so cool this is the coolest thing and I, they didn't get this at sephora um this is alien by mugler so it's the um those little gel pen fragrance brushes i don't even know ugh, i can't open it how did i get it open before like that i don't know how to describe them really but it's this it's a little pen it looks like like if you've ever had the ysl leclat uh concealer it kind of reminds me of that um it's, it's got the fragrance this one's alien of course it's got a little brush i wonder if 
you can see the texture. It's not going to focus on it. So, um, and it, you just, oh, that was a thing. Ugh. I have so, oh, that was cute. I have so much perfume out already. I'm just going to push a little bit. So you put the perfume out and then it's literally like a gel. I'm trying to see. And you just apply it where you want fragrance. I mean, I think this is ingenious. I understand why it might not be super popular because it's not, you're not, it's alien so it smells amazing. You're not getting like a heavy, heavy dose of scent. It's light um, and it's not going to be uh, like lasting all day. But for travel or for touch-ups of fragrance to have something like this where you didn't have to worry about spillage or breaking, and it smells so good. Oh my God, it's alien. So of course it smells good, but I love this. I think this is ingenious. And if they had one for a like Angel, if I could find one for Angel, I would buy it in a heartbeat. So that brings me back to my last two Christmas items. These are the two big perfume or fragrance gifts. Um, I also got a, my main gift is back here. Um, that Boba Fett. Um, it's a six scale figure <laughs> and it's just amazing. It's amazing, but I'm not here to review or show that I'm here for fragrances. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. The last two. So I showed you the pseudonym from Alice Brooklyn candle. And then I was also gifted, um, the, Cand the speakeasy candle from um, Harlem Harlem Candle Company and this is the ceramic gold collection version so it looks like that and this has like a little lid and then the actual candle. It's hard to get out. Um, these things are packaged. Like everything's packaged so well these days. It's like impossible to get them out. But it looks like this. So it has a nightclub map to Harlem. And this candle smells amazing. It's the essence of bourbon and Palo Santo. So it's smoky, woody, boozy, like a club. It feels like a luxurious underground sort of refined club with wood paneling on the walls, a lot of booze, a lot of music. And then the container vessel is so flipping gorgeous. Oh, it smells amazing. This candle is one of my favorites from Harlem Candle Company. Um, I've talked about it before, but, uh, my favorite fragrance is um, Langston from Harlem Candle Company. And then my second favorites are a tie between Lady Day and Speakeasy. And Lady Day and Speakeasy both come in the ceramic gold, but I already own a Lady Day candle, so we went with Speakeasy. I'm very happy to have this in my hot little hands. I have to find a figure, I have to figure out a place that I can burn this and display it at the same time. Right now my house is a disaster. My son, my oldest son moved out in October and it just has kind of not gotten fixed up since then. So we'll get around to that. And then the last one was a gift that I knew was coming because I told the people's I told them what I wanted, um, but I got from Zerjoff a fragrance, Pico Valladama. So Pico Valladama is the queen of spades. And I have the Dua dupe. And I think 
I will link that for the video. I think I did a video where I talked about it, but I'll link, I'll link that one in. Look, this is fabulous. So they released Pico Valladama in the, um, the seventeen seventeen fragrance collection, which has all of, they're all in here. Um, but they all have this stone nameplate. This is the most luxurious packaging I've ever seen in my life. And the fragrance, it has a tiger's eye stone, which is perfect because that is one of my favorite gems, not gemstones, my favorite crystal stones. And then <sighs> Pico Vaidama is just, I can't spray it because I put alien on that arm. This smells quite a bit like the um, Dua version. The only thing is that it's lighter, it's airier, it's more refined, definitely. Um, I, I kind of had felt when I first got the um, Dua dupe, I felt like it was a little bit heavy, a little cloying. Um, this one, I feel like it's much lighter and airier, definitely not in the same sort of like thick, heavy feeling as like a Chanel number no. five or something else with like a lot of aldehydes. Um, or Shalimar. This feels light and airy, but also smoky and sexy. It's a comfort, it's a kind of fragrance that is both like comforting and attracting. When I wear it, I feel like I'm being hugged by like a grandma or um, my grandma or a mom, you know, it's just super comforting and it's something that I just want to keep smelling over and over and over again. So I am so, so happy. This is actually my first full bottle purchase from Zerzhov and I'm just super happy to have this. This one I got from Aura Fragrance. Um, if you haven't shopped there, I'll link them below. But I picked this one up from Aura Fragrance. It was a pretty good deal. It was quite a bit less expensive than anywhere else that sells Pico Valladama. So I was really happy with that. And the presentation is so luxe. Love it. I love it. So, yeah. So, yeah, it has the plate here, but of course, this one's not numbered. Um,. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this. I am so happy with all the fragrance gifts I got. Um, usually I don't get fragrances gifted to me because I buy so many and most people already realize that it's hard to pick out something I don't already have. But this year, um, because a lot of the gift shopping was left up to me, I was able to really like find things that I really wanted that I knew I wouldn't normally get for myself. And I'm just so happy and grateful. I'm really grateful for the gifts for um, the gifts from everyone, from my family and everyone. Um, and I'm so happy that I get to share them with you guys here on the channel for another year. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, subscribe. I should have said that at the beginning. So anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. I am Holly Golightly. I wish you a happy new year and I hope you had a great holiday season and I'm looking forward to seeing what 2022 has in store. Bye. Mwah.